Hey guys, it's Danielle. I am a full-time reseller on eBay and Poshmark where you can find me at Rosie underscore reselling. And today I'm here with a Salvation Army haul. So here in the DC area, our Salvation Armies have a discount day on Wednesdays. I know in a lot of places in the country they have 50% off on Wednesdays. Ours has only 25% off on Wednesdays. Either way, I still go. I still show up and see what I can find. So this was just an okay day. Nothing in this haul is like super amazing or going to make me rich, but these are a lot of the bread and butter things that I pick up, so I thought it might be helpful to know those types of things. So it's all still in the bag, so I'm sorry if you hear like rustling around. And the receipt is in one of these bags somewhere, so we'll find it somewhere along the way, and I'll tell you how much I spent. I can't quite remember. But... I'm just going to go ahead and start. So they have the tags on them. Like, this shirt was $4.99, but I paid 25% off that, so really $3.75. Um, so, yeah. This is a J. Jill plus size 2X top. And there were a lot of J. Jill floral plus size tops. And J. Jill floral plus size items tend to do really well for me. Actually, J. Jill any plus size items have been doing really well for me. Even on Poshmark, which I wouldn't expect really J. Jill to be doing that well on Poshmark because it does tend to be a more mature style brand, but it has been flying on Poshmark for me. So I was happy to get this for $3.75. This is a New With Tags Torrid Top, and it's sort of ruched in the bust area, and then it has short sleeves and is loose fitting on the belly. It's a size 2 which is like a 2X from Torrid. It was also originally $4.99, so $3.75. And it has the price tag that says it was $42.90. Now, I was planning to send this top into ThreadUp. And if any of you guys have been monitoring the ThreadUp situation right now, they're so behind that they're not even offering for people to print labels um, from their email. So I did go ahead and I think it was two days ago, order some kits to be sent to my house. They haven't canceled them yet, so fingers crossed that those, I think it was five or six kits, will actually get sent to me so that all this stuff I've been buying to send ThreadUp can actually go to ThreadUp. Otherwise, I'm going to have to sell it on my own, and that just really wasn't my intention, so that wouldn't be great. Um, but you'll see a couple ThreadUp things in here. I've kind of chilled on picking up ThreadUp things since then, now that I know that they're, um, it's getting harder and harder to get a label or get a kit. So if I get the kits in the mail, when the kits come, I will re-up my, you know, picking up things for thread up type of thing. All right, this is a Madewell top. Oh, it's not hooked in the back. I'll just hook it so you can see it better. It is a crushed velvet sort of v-neck with one of these little choker necklines. It is a slightly older style, size extra small, and this was $3.99, so I only paid $3 for this. Um, when is this from? Let's see. It's from Holiday 17, so it's on the older side, but I still think it's a cute style that someone will want. This is a Lucky Brand plus size top, and again, Lucky Brand is one of those plus size brands that does really well for me. It doesn't do as well in standard sizing, but in plus sizing, it really just flies for me. Um, and this was $3.99, so $3 after the discount. It's a beautiful blue floral pattern. Whoever the plus size lady was who donated a lot of her items had super, in my opinion, cute taste. She had a lot of florals, some novelty prints. They were really cute. So this is one of the novelty prints. This is a NYDJ, so not your daughter's jeans, but they also make tops. And their tops tend to sell really well for me, especially in larger sizes. This is a 1X. It's a popover style top, or yeah, it's a popover style. But I don't know if you can see, it has these little white bicycles all over it, which I think is so cute. It has three-quarter length sleeves. It's sort of a lightweight polyester material that's good for spring and summer. Another plus size top. <laughs> this is another J. Jill item. This is another floral three-quarter length sleeve top. So she definitely had a specific taste. But again, $4.99, so $3.75. Pretty. And another... I think they're probably all in this bag because I probably just stacked them all on top of each other when I was checking out. Here is another three-quarter length sleeve floral. They are all different floral patterns, which is nice. And I'm going to list these on Poshmark and eBay, and I have a feeling that they might end up getting bundled on Poshmark and someone might send me an offer on the bundle. Again, I think they were all priced at $4.99, so I paid $3.75 for each of them. 
Okay, here's another, again, $4.99. And again, beautiful three-quarter length sleeve floral. I just love these J.J. florals. I think they have some of the prettiest floral patterns. And these are all in excellent condition. I mean, they have really no signs of wear. If you can see, <laughs> this still has a crease in it from being folded probably in the mailing bag or in her closet. I don't know, but it, it literally still has the crease in it. So they're in excellent, excellent condition. Another one. <laughs> okay, I promise the haul is not all J. Jill plus size. But, <laughs> again, $4.99, so $3.75. And this one's a navy blue with a white floral pattern over top. And they're stretchy, like a viscose material, probably. I would guess. Let's see. Let's just check. Oh, they're rayon and lycra spandex. Oh, this I was really excited about. Again, I was going to send this to thread up, but I may sell it on my own, given if the um, kits that I ordered didn't arrive. This was $4.99, so $3.75, and it is a Hale Bob silk blouse. It is actually, oh, it's hiding, new with tags. So there's the Hale Bob, and it was, oh, it doesn't have a price, but it has a barcode, so I might be able to look up and see what the style name is or something like that. And I believe it has little ties at the neckline here. It would make a great swim cover up because if you can see, it is semi-sheer. You can kind of see me through it. Very lightweight, great for summer. Okay, receipt's not in this bag, so maybe the next one. There are three total bags. Again, another item that I bought to send to thread up. It was $7.99, so it would have been $6 after the, after the um, discount. It is a Michael Kors, and this is the higher-end Michael Kors tag. So it is crossed out, but it doesn't really matter. This is the one of the higher-end lines that Michael Kors has. This is not the same as the Michael Michael Kors tag, and this does a lot better, especially on ThreadUp. But it's a gold metallic sheath dress, and I just think it's a beautiful career piece, something that's a little bit different with a cap sleeve, a high neckline so it's nice and modest, it's just a beautiful style and it also has these fun front pockets or maybe it's just no they have it on both sides fun front pockets to give it a little you know fun detailing these are another thing I picked up to potentially send to thread up but they are Nike leggings they seem to be um, a warmer style they're made of a thick almost like a scuba knit material Full length, have sort of a bluish gray tie-dye pattern. And these were $3.99, so $3 after the discount. Okay, another plus size Lucky Brand piece. And this is one of their embroidered pieces. Their embroidered pieces, again, are something that tend to do really well. So here's the tag. And this was $3 after the discount. This is a cold shoulder, which is not a style I love to pick up. Uh, because it's just kind of going out. It's not really selling that well for me anymore but for three dollars I decided to just risk it especially since it is a beautiful floral embroidered pattern and in excellent condition these are Eileen Fisher pants they're kind of an olive green color and this is the older tag style for Eileen Fish Eileen Fisher but these were a nice big size elastic waistband stretchy they're in excellent condition so have a lot of good things going for them they were $6.99, so, $6.99, so around five-ish dollars after the discount. Alrighty, another pair of pants. These are a pair of Athleta pants, and this is one of their newer tag styles. These I was really on the fence about. They were $6.99, so five-ish dollars, but they, I don't know, I just, something was telling me to pick them up. They're a good style. They're a cropped boot cut style, and they have sort of a tuxedo side stripe down the side, if you can see that. They're a gray wash in excellent condition. Also, they're a size 8 petite, which is technically my size, so I thought, oh, maybe I can try them on. And if they don't fit me, then I'll just sell them. Okay, I do not normally pick up this brand, but I, again, I could just not leave these behind. The style was so cute. So I was thinking, you know, maybe I'll send them to thread up and see what happens there. Maybe I'll sell them on my own. I'm going to look up and see what the comps are. I did not look up any comps. They were $6.99. So again, probably around $5, close to that $5 mark. They're called the Flawless 
Charlie High Rise Skinny Ankle. So a high rise skinny ankle is a good style. They're black Joe's jeans, but look at the ankle. The ankle has a rouge detail up the side and I just love them. They're so cute. I wish they were my size. They're a size 25, which is not gonna fit me, but I, I would love to wear these jeans. The ankle is just so cute. I couldn't leave them behind. I just couldn't. <sighs> Vince Camuto, another great plus size piece and a great thread up brand. So I did buy these Vince Camuto black leggings in excellent condition to send to thread up. They were $4.99. So $3.75 after the discount. Again, just excellent condition basics to send a thread up in a great plus size. So I, I honestly think they'll do well if I can actually get them into thread up. If I have to sell them on my own, they'll probably still do well. Okay, another thread up piece. <laughs> this, I bought all of this before I found out the thread up was not giving out new labels. But again, all of the things that I'm buying to send to thread up. I'm still new. I'm still learning and experimenting with ThreadUp. So I am not afraid to buy things and send them to them. So long as I know I can sell it on my own if it doesn't sell on ThreadUp or if they don't accept it or whatever. This is Theory. And this is one of their newer tag styles. And it's also a very current style. So I did decide to pick it up. It was $9.99, which means that it was $7.50 after the discount move back a little bit so you can see it has a zipper all the way down the front of the dress it's sort of a fit and flare dress probably about knee length a crew neck line it's just a great career piece feels like a wool blend and it's just in very current style so I was happy to pick it up let's see yeah it's 96% virgin wool and 4% elastane so that's a really great just a great career piece I know people aren't really going to work right now, but there will be a point when career pieces are selling again. So I'm taking advantage of that and I'm picking them up now while they're cheaper. <laughs> Another brand I don't usually pick up and honestly, I don't recommend you pick up this brand. This is just a style that I personally think is gonna do really well for me in my eBay store. And if it doesn't, I know that it's something I can send to thread up. I can also tell that this is a newer tag style from them. So these are J brand jeans and again, I am not telling you to pick up J brand things. It doesn't frequently sell for very much money. But they're a size 30, which is a good size. And they're the Devon. I don't know exactly what that is. I'll have to look it up. But they have a black metallic, I'm not sure if you can see, tuxedo stripe down the side. They are a skinny leg style. And they appear to be uh, a mid mid to high rise. I will have to measure the rise. I'm not 100% sure. But they were $6.99, so around $5 after the discount. And again, these are in excellent condition. They are near perfect. I would not have bought these if they had one loose thread, one flaw whatsoever, especially that brand. But I did decide to pick them up, given that they are such a cute style. This is one of my favorite brands to sell. It brings a lot of traffic to my eBay store and Poshmark closet. It is Beta Brand. So they're known for these stretchy yoga dress pants that you can wear to work, but also they make other things like sweatshirts. I just sold a sweatshirt from them. These are a black pinstripe pant and they were $6.99, so about $5 after the discount. They have faux front pockets and faux back pockets. And I know from their advertisements, just that I see on my Instagram and Facebook and stuff like that, that they are now making some with actual pockets that have zippers or are open, but this is the faux pocket kind. Still will sell well. This is a new to me brand, and I'm probably gonna butcher the name. I have no idea how to say it. <laughs> Gretchen Bram, maybe? Gretchen Bram? So I looked it up, and the comps look really great on eBay, uh, but I'm also gonna check out the thread up comps. It's very much a lag and look style. This is the sleeve, and it has a sort of window pane, window pane blah, pattern, and it's made of a textured crepe material. Oh, that's a really good view of it. Buttons up the front. It's not buttoned right now. I'm sorry. It has a collared neckline in this fun tag. It was only $3.75 after the discount. It's a big, oversized tunic top. And now that I'm looking at it, I also don't know where the size is. Hopefully it's on an interior tag. I should have looked for that. Russian brand. Oh, it says made in Israel. Interesting. So I can't find the size right this second, but 
I'll find it somehow. Okay. This is an Eileen Fisher, another great piece. This is their newer size style. Little, and it's an extra large. It is a short sleeve shift dress, kind of like a t-shirt dress. It's gray. It feels like a linen cotton blend, I would guess. And it was $6.99, so about $5 after the discount. It is a 55% hemp, 45% organic cotton. Nice quality, excellent condition. Another new to me brand, this just looked okay on eBay, but it did look pretty good on ThreadUp, so I purchased it. Again, probably going to butcher the name. It's Etienne Marcel, would be my guess. And they're sort of a snakeskin print skinny jeans. And I don't often buy printed denim, but it looks like this might be something that this particular designer is known for because many of the ones that were actually selling for more money were this similar snakeskin style printed denim. These were $4.99, so around $3.75 after the discount, which is why I decided to take the risk, even though they don't look amazing on eBay. They do have a little French flag embroidery here, so I'm guessing that she's a French designer, she or he, and it's just a fun pattern. I'm not sure how they're going to do, but I'll risk $3.75 to experiment with something. This was priced remarkably low, and I bought it to send to thread up, but again, might end up selling it on my own. It is a short sleeve ruffle, kind of flutter sleeve top. It's light pink, but the lighting is not, that's a little bit better. It's new with tags from Chico's. Chico's does vanity sizing, and this is a size two. I believe this might be their outlet tag, I'm not sure. Either way, it's new with tags for $79.50. And I paid 25% off of $2.99, so probably made about $2 for it. Not bad at all. Okay, another thing I bought to send a thread up, <laughs> common theme here. This is a Lafayette 148 dress. Again, this is the newer Lafayette 148 tag. And it's a size 18, which is a great size. It was $7.99, so around $6 after the discount. Wow, my math. It's a sleeveless sheath dress, another just great career piece. I was finding a lot of these great career pieces. High quality, it is in excellent condition, a little wrinkly because I haven't steamed it obviously. Has a zipper up the back. It's a solid beige color. That's pretty close to the actual color right there. Great career piece, happy to find that. Okay, my receipt was not in that bag either, so let's hope it's in the last one. Um. We'll find it. This is a free people dress that I actually own and love, but this one I'm going to sell because mine's perfectly fine. This is a, the tag. It was originally from Macy's, or at least that's where I bought it. Um, it was $6.99, so around $5. It's actually like a tunic dress, but it has this beautiful pattern on it, almost like a tapestry style. The sides are kind of open. They have this three strap style and it has a crew neckline, and then the back, again, is a little bit open. It has a keyhole style back. So it could be worn as a tunic or a dress, kind of a tunic dress. This is a brand that sells just okay for me on eBay, but I thought this was a good style. I was planning to send this to thread up. Again, who knows what's going to happen with that. I know I've said it a hundred times, I'm sorry. But this is Clover Canyon. This is actually a very high-end brand that retails for a lot of money, but the resale value... Um, is not amazing and also in my experience it takes a very long time to resell. So they're actually known for their neoprene scuba knit type dresses and this is not that. This is a floral dress that feels like, well, kind of feels textured like a jacquard fabric. It's sleeveless, a nice shift dress, and it has these, um, what are these called? Rip rivets? Maybe? I might be totally wrong, but has this detailing on the bottom. I think it's a great summer piece. It could be a career piece. It could also be dressed down and be casual. So I thought it was a good thing to pick up. Oh, how much was this? $7.99, so $6 after the discount. Here's the receipt, yay. Oh, this is a maxi dress. Again, was planning to send thread up. This is standard James purse. It's a size 3. They also do vanity sizing, and that's one of their bigger sizes. This was $6.99, so probably about $5 after the discount. It's just a 
basic maxi dress. They're known for their basic classic sort of styles. It has a scoop neckline. It has this ringer style um, trim that's light gray and the dress itself is dark gray. I can't obviously hold up an entire maxi dress, but it's in great condition. Hopefully I can send it to thread up, fingers crossed. <laughs> okay, again, for thread up. <laughs> These are not your daughter's jeans, size 12. This is their newer tag style and they are actually new with tags. It is the premium denim pull on ankle, water conscious denim. I'm not exactly sure what that means, but that's what they are. $8, so they were $6 after the discount. They have an elastic waistband. They're a pull-on, like a jegging style, just a dark wash skinny jean. And the original tag is for $109. I know this brand is sold at Nordstrom Rack. I don't know if it's actually sold at Nordstrom or where it's normally sold, but it does pretty well for me on eBay, probably about $25 to $30 if I were to sell it on eBay, but I was planning to send it to Greta. Another new with tags piece. This is a Free People We The Free embroidered thermal top. And a lot of Free People thermals are actually embroidered on these sleeve cuffs, but this is embroidered around the neckline. I believe this is one of their newer items. I might have actually tried this on in the store because I do love it. And this is one of their newer We The Free style tags. It was $8, so $6 after the discount. And it is new with the tags for... Oh, it was sold at Nordstrom. Nordstrom had it for $48, but you can see the, oh, I'm shaking, the free people price of $68 underneath it. So I might try to peel that off. Who knows? Okay. Another Lafayette 148 piece, and this is the older tag style. Again, this is a brand that I almost exclusively send to thread up, and it does historically very well for me. These are a size 14, but that is their older tag style. The reason I bought them is because they are new with tags from Nordstrom and were originally, well, the suggested retail was $168, but right here it has crossed out that says $698, so I'm not really sure which is which. Maybe they were at Nordstrom Rack and that's why they have the Nordstrom tag. Either way, I'll do a little research, but these are in olive green straight leg pant. They look like they could be worn as dress pants. They also look like they could be worn in a more casual setting, maybe a business casual workplace. They have back pockets. It's hard to see, but these were $9.99. So I paid $7.50 for them. These I just couldn't leave behind because the style is so cute. This brand does not do very well for me on eBay, but I do find that it tends to sell for me on Poshmark because it is a little bit of a more youthful style. Also, if I decide to start selling on Mercari again more, which I'm kind of iffy about, this brand does pretty well on there. It is the brand BDG from Urban Outfitters. This is one of their newer tag styles. And these are a high-rise mom jean that are embroidered with these little yellow floral details. They're just... Mom jeans are very in style right now. Embroideries are in style, and I just kind of leave them. They're perfect for spring and summer. They look like they're new without tags because they still have this little thing here, but I'll have to do some research and see if it's, like, trendy to keep that on or if it's actually new without tags. They were $4.99, so $3.75 after the discount. Again, cheap, which is why I decided to pick them up. They'll probably only sell for $20. This I was surprised by. This is a Madewell um, collaboration with JM Dry Goods, which I've never seen or heard of before. It's beautifully embroidered on the top part here. Super colorful. It's a white shift dress, or sh yeah, shift dress with front pockets. Feels like linen. And the comps on this dress were really, really good. Like $50 to $80. I paid $6.99. $6.99, so around $5 after the discount. It's fully lined. It's clearly a high quality dress, but it is from summer 2016, so it's decently old. If it wasn't a collaboration that did well, that's the reason I looked up the comps for this. If it wasn't a collaboration that did well, I would definitely not have picked it up. Yeah, and it is a linen cotton blend with a cotton lining. Beautiful. No spots or anything on the white, so I was happy about that. 
I think this is the last pair of jeans. This is a pair of Madewell jeans. Madewell, sorry, I'm kind of hitting the bins that I have the phone or the computer resting on. That's why it's a little shaky. They're the nine inch mid-rise skinny. And honestly, this is not a style I've tried to sell before. I've sold the nine inch high-rise skinny tons of times, but they're in excellent condition. They were only $4.99, so $3.75 after the discount. They're just a solid gray skinny jean. Excellent condition. Madewell jeans do well for me, so I was happy to pick them up. Ooh, another J. Gel floral. I've sold this pattern of J. Gel many times before. It must be a very common style. Again, $4.99, so $3.75. And this, again, just a floral three-quarter length sleeve plus size top in a stretchy knit material. All right, we're down to our last couple of things. Last two things. Yep. This is something I picked up to send thread up. I have never tried sending in Ivanka Trump to thread up before, but I'm going to try it out. I've heard some things about it that might that suggest it might do well on thread up. It was only $3 and it is a beautiful floral pattern, a great pop over style, so I decided to try it out. And then our last item is new with tags. I think it's such a cute style. It is a Kimmy and Kin from Anthropology. Has sort of a snakeskin style pattern and it is heavily, heavily sequin embroidered on the front. And it actually is quite a heavy weight shirt, so that's interesting. But the straps are thick enough that it probably wouldn't be irritating, like on the shoulders. It has a peplum style bottom that definitely poofs out quite a bit. It is newish with tags. It has the original beads and it does have this little tiny stub of the original tag, so I'm not sure if I'll mark it new with tags or new without tags, but eh. It was $3.99, so only $3 after the discount. So they definitely must not have seen this tag or they didn't mark it up because it didn't have a price on the tag, but it's a great style. It's super cute. I think it'll sell pretty quickly if I get it listed here pretty soon because we're still in summer. Anyway, that is it for my Salvation Army 25% off haul. I don't think I bought anything for myself. No, just that stuff. Except for maybe those athletic pants if they fit me. My total was, this is my long, long, long receipt. And my total was $176.13. So I'm not sure how many items that is. It might tell me on here. Yeah, item count, 37. So I bought 37 items total for $176.13. I'm pretty happy with that. I was happy that I went, I was happy with the haul. I was probably there for about two and a half hours and I'm excited to get all this stuff prepped and listed. So thanks for watching. If you like seeing haul videos, please give this a thumbs up so that I know that you like seeing haul videos and I can make more haul videos and things like that. And if you like the content I provide in general, please consider subscribing to the channel. It really helps me. So thanks guys.